Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld. Things are going well. We have a visitor, Xiao, that we're taking care of. Um, Xiao is going to get on top of our hauling and cleaning jobs, hopefully, um, while our other colonists can focus on their respective duties. Um, Tronka, of course, is our grower and Minyaka is our everything else, pretty much. <laughs> um, so. Things are going well. Hopefully we will get a third colonist in this episode. If we go look at our quests, I apologize, it's been a little while. Um, but we do have an active quest going. Um, when Sia leaves, we will get Clara to join us. Um, shuttle arrives in 8.3 days. So we're going to get a new colonist, free of charge, in 8 days. Clara has alright stats, but why we really got her was her traits. Um, she has a permanent mood effect of plus 12, so she's going to be really resilient to mental breaks, which is exactly what we need. Um, in the meantime, Gorilla is probably going to grow into a young child sooner rather than later. And when Gorilla does that, we need to set up a bedroom for him. And um, we need to ensure that we have enough colonists set to teach so that Gorilla is always kind of maxing out his education need. That way we can have him grow up to be a really useful and productive colonist. I'm going to go ahead and turn the speed up a little bit because we don't really have any ambitious plans until we get some more colonists. So for the time being we're just trying to hold in stasis. We don't want to expand too aggressively given our, our small size at the moment. We don't want to increase our value too much. I think if we go to this tab, history, we can see the value of our base. The more valuable our base gets, and the more colonists we have, the larger uh, and more dangerous the raids will become. So while we're not super defensible right now, we should try to avoid increasing our value too much. We just want to focus on sustenance. Currently, we've already researched complex furniture. And we are on to complex clothing. Um, so hopefully by this winter, we should be able to get some parkas for all of our colonists. Since we have um, complex furniture researched, one thing we should do is we should build some wooden beds. So we can build a double bed for this room. And we can pack up and keep those um, bed rolls for when we travel. Once these beds are built, we can probably also do away with this wooden stool and replace it with a more comfy thing like a sofa chair or something. Something that'll look nice in the room. And Minyaka is taking the baby for a stroll, that's cute. Alright Minyaka, you've got other tasks to do though. This baby's taking up almost all of our time. I think we might be able to remedy this if we go into furniture and we build some, what do I want here? Maybe it's in recreation? I thought there was like toys for, for the kids. You could put like a toy near the crib and that would help them get their recreation faster. But I'm not sure exactly where to find that. Maybe I haven't researched it yet. I would think it would be in furniture. Oh, baby decoration and toy box. Toy boxes can be used to play with babies, satisfying their need for play. A decoration for babies. Baby decorations will increase the rate at which babies fill their play when adults play with them. Place these around your child play areas. Colonists need rescue. Hold on. Minyaka and Sao are no longer social fighting. Wow, we missed a big social fight. Who came out on top? Um, let's see. Xiao has quite a long, extensive list of injuries. And Minyaka has a similarly long list. Okay, seems like uh, they both got off not, not too well. Well, that's unfortunate. That's real unfortunate. Our colonists are fighting. Why is Xiao 
um, getting into fights. Uncomfortable, awful bedroom, slept in the heat, body modder frustrated, low psychic drone. Well, there's nothing we can do about most of these, um, especially slept in the heat. Um, I don't think we're going to waste a, a bunch of wood on a passive cooler for that room right there. What we will do is hopefully wait for this psychic drone to go away. Let's see. Oh, maybe the psychic drone did go away. Fantastic. So Minyaka should be all treated up. And Minyaka is doing the right thing, being the better person in tending Zhao as well. I think Minyaka is our primary constructor as well. So hopefully Minyaka will find some time over the next couple days to work on these beds and maybe some uh, baby decorations as too. Um, so I think we could put a toy box here. I think we could probably also put a decoration or something here. Make the baby a little happier. Alright, if we go to work though, bed rest should not be prioritized. So see how, once you're all treated, you need to get up and get back to working. You need to be useful. We can't have you wasting away the day in bed because you decided to get into some stupid fight. Vinyaka has a shoot frenzy. She will shoot more accurately for the next eight days. All right. Well, if we get raided, we have nothing to fear then. There's an eclipse. Fantastic. And let's see if we can find our crafting spot. Seems like a couple of our colonists have tattered apparel. That's making them sad. Apparently Tronka has tattered apparel. Let's look at Tronka's gear. What's the tattered apparel? The face mask? Then drop the face mask, you dummy. Drop the burka too. You don't need to be wearing this. You can keep wearing your police hat. It's kind of funny. I think we should go into our apparel policies and make some new apparel policies for our colonists. Um, we'll make new. We'll call one of them Summer. Oops. Apparel Poly 6, we gotta call this Summer. And I think we're going to clear all. And for Summer, for Summer, we wanna clear all. And I think for headgear, we can allow them to wear any kind of hat or broad wrap that they want. They can wear a hood, they can wear a cowboy hat. I'm not too picky about what, what hats they want to wear. Face masks are kind of silly. I don't know what the point of this is. Toxic environment resistance. Okay, we definitely don't need that. Um, they can wear shade cones, they can wear ritual masks. They could wear tail caps. I think it'd be kind of cute if we got our whole colony in tail caps. Let's aim for that. That seems like a good, a good goal. They can wear those in the winter as well. Veil. Yeah, they could wear a warm. Um, they could wear a war mask. They could wear a visage mask. They could wear a tribal headdress. They could wear a slice cap. That's fine. Um, armor, they don't need to be wearing an armor. Utility, I don't think we need any utilities. Misc. In the summer, they are allowed to wear dusters, button down shirts. They are allowed to wear robes. They are allowed to wear pants. They are allowed to wear tribal wear. They are allowed to wear t shirts. What they're not going to be wearing is parka, lab coats. Kids can wear shirts and tribal wear, and pants. I don't want them wearing jackets or parkas, pretty much, or burkas or any of this stuff. All right, we have a summer apparel policy, so let's go ahead and set them to it.
All right, so it is morning time, and even though we just uh, set their apparel policies to wearing tribal wear and shirts, um, it still says that Minyaka is upset about wearing um, tattered apparel. That's because this apparel has under 50% durability. So what we're going to need is we're going to need to build a new tribal wear. So let's go ahead and add a build. Um, we can make tribal wear. And we should make it out of not our good stuff. I don't think we want to make it out of wool either. I think we should make it out of probably standard leather, like plain leather would be good. Okay. We can make a new tribal wear for Minyaka. Do we have anyone set to crafting? We do not. That's because all of our colonists kind of suck at it. Tronka probably could do some crafting if he has any time off, but you might not get a get to that until the winter time. That being said, Chonka is already researching, which is at the end of his priorities, so perhaps he will get to do some crafting in a little bit. Okay, it looks like we have our beds set up, so I need to deconstruct these. I'll have Minyaka prioritize. Oh, we don't want to deconstruct these. I think we want to uninstall these. P, uninstall. All right, Minyaka, I need you to prioritize this. All right, and now I need you to reinstall this bed here. And we're gonna go ahead and set the owner to be Minyaka and Tronka. And then I'm gonna set the owner for this bed to be Xiao. And we want to reinstall this bed right here. Minyaka is feeding the baby, so we're not gonna interrupt her. But once she puts the baby back down, we're gonna have her complete those jobs ASAP. Or maybe we'll have her complete it first thing in the morning. Xiao's already sleeping. Xiao, first thing I need you to do is prioritize working on double bed. There you go. Now you can sleep. Let's go ahead and check on our animal situation. It seems like we have a lot of alpacas and we could probably do some slaughtering. Um, we have a four-year-old female and a two-year-old male. I think those are our parents that we're using to breed. So all of the zero-year-old kids we should probably set to slaughter. Um, we also have a 15-year-old female and an 8-year-old male yak. We could probably slaughter this 0-year-old yak. Basically, we don't want to have too many animals so that we can't feed them all. I noticed that this uh, pen was getting a little bit overgrazed, which is why we needed to slaughter some downsize the pack. That will be a huge influx of meat, so we're going to be doing great on food for the next year or so. Actually, I think we've got so much rice that we probably don't need to plant another... Maybe we'll plant one more harvest of this, but then we won't allow resowing after that. Looks like we're going to have our first harvest of heel root sometime soon, which is exciting because we have been very kind of iffy on the heel root so far in our playthrough and we've been suffering because of it. We've had plenty of prisoners die to, due to infection, uh, which is not ideal. So hopefully this time we can hold on to some of our new colonists and not have them all die of infections when they get a small cut. Alright, so it is morning. Minyaka and Tronka are back to it. Tronka has a lot of farming to do and a lot of cooking to do, it looks like. But uh, once Tronka has finished all of that, we can probably get Tronka... Is it Tronka or Minyaka who's on crafting? Tronka. Get Tronka to do some crafting, craft his wife a new uh, tribal wear. Um, we should add to this list 
we want to also make kid tribal wear for gorilla when gorilla grows up to be a kid um, we should also prepare gorilla's bedroom i think this is going to be gorilla's bedroom just because it's attached to his parents um, room so they'll, they'll basically share a house together um, we will go ahead and move Xiao, who's only a guest, but we'll eventually, um, we'll eventually have another colonist join us. Um, we'll move Xiao's room over here. And I think we'll put the bed, like, right here. This seems like a nice spot for a bed. We can start putting, um, end tables next to our beds. That'll make their um, rest effectiveness be a little bit higher. Just that little bit higher will help. That means that um, our colonists will be able to sleep for a little bit shorter every night. That means they have more productive hours to work during the day. We could probably also build an end table right there. Start kitting out these um, bedrooms with some nice furniture, and our colonists will really appreciate it, I'm sure. Gorilla is a happy baby. It looks like we've got this toy box, um, this toy box, and this uh, baby decoration all set up already. We've got a stool, a good stool. Can we replace any like mediocre stools? Yeah, why don't we go ahead and deconstruct the one in our prison cell. And I think in the room, we're going to create a nice armchair. And I think the most comfortable armchair we could probably make would be out of alpaca wool. But I want to save alpaca wool for parkas. You know, we probably have enough to manage parkas and an armchair. I say we, we put a nice armchair in this room um, for breastfeeding the baby and just having a chair in your room is just a nice to have. It's a little bit, it's a, it's a comfort thing. So we're gonna go ahead and put this chair right here. I think this is a, a nice space to have a chair. And I think we could probably also fit a dresser into this room as well. We need an end table for Xiao. We'll go ahead and put the end table there. And I'm actually going to reassign C out to this room because this is going to become the kids' bedroom. We can put a dresser in the kids' bedroom. Probably going to want a dresser. Hmm, it's not going to be a nice place to fit it anywhere. Might have to go... Let's see, I think we can put it here and then we can rebuild the door to be there. And I think we build a wall over the original door. I think that'll fit the space a, a bit nicer. Um, and finally, I think we need to put a dresser in this room as well. I think we'll copy the layout down here so I think we'll keep a dresser here we can also put a passive cooler in here and um, once we get this crib out of the way we'll have a lot more open space uh, we don't need an animal bed right now so why don't we reinstall this animal bed since we don't have any pets we can re reinstall it in our main kind of work area, and we can find a place for it once we do get a pet. Whoever that pet is bonded to, we'll go ahead and put that animal bed in their room. But we want to free up some space here to make uh, Minyaka and Chanka just a, all that little bit more comfortable. Their bedroom is still allegedly awful. I don't know what they want. We've built all these nice things for them. We've built a poor wooden dresser. We've built a poor wooden end table. Those probably aren't helping. Who's doing all these poor constructions? Uh, looks like we have a raid. 
We have one person up on the northern border, and it looks like I don't see anyone else on any other side, so there's only one raider. And it's Callie, and he's coming with a knife. Okay, we'll wait for Callie to get a little bit closer, and then we will go out and run to meet him. Alright? Tronka Minyaka Siao, we have some defending to do. Is this person going to be worth recruiting? It's a pig person. That means that manipulation is down. Um, I think, right? If I go to bio, pig skin, they're bad cooks. Their trotter hands mean that they have a base manipulation of 85%. Nearsighted means that they suck at shooting. They have reduced pain, they have a strong stomach. So they'll never suffer from food poisoning, even after eating rotting food. That's a pretty cool perk. They have strong immunity, they have robust digestion. I don't think we need to recruit a pig, a pig guy. I think we'll, we'll try to keep it humans only. Minaka, why are you bringing the baby? Drop the baby. Gosh. Alright, Xiao's more expendable, so we're gonna go ahead and move Xiao in to do some melee. Um, we can need to move Tronka back. And now that Callie's getting two on one with clubs, I think we're gonna undraft Tronka so as not to kill this prisoner, this uh, guy outright. The reason is, ah, oh, we still did kill him outright. Even if we don't want to recruit him, we could still take him as a prisoner and perhaps, you know, ransom him. Or I think, according to our ideology, executing guilty prisoners is something that our colonists will like. So that could give a good mood bonus. But that's kind of harsh. I don't know how many executions we're going to do here. Um, there's a mad mare. Where's the mad mare? There it is. All right, we're gonna have to deal with this. Tronka, I need you to get out there. Deal with this mad mare menace. Put those shooting skills to use. Yeah, shooting level 10 now, and he has a masterwork recurve bow. Hopefully we've reduced this horse's um, we've reduced this horse's moving enough. I don't think we were getting away from that. It was still moving pretty quickly. All right, Tronka is a little bruised up, but nothing that can't be sorted. Minyaka's in no immediate danger. Xiao's in no immediate danger. Okay, so really, they just need to go and patch themselves up. Quest expired, stash of valuables. Okay. We're not really in the place to make any excursions right now. Xiao, so if we go to health, I think we should allow herbal medicine or worse for all of our colonists. We have nice medicine now, but we don't want to be using that nice medicine. We want to save the nice medicine for when we need it, like for treating infections or serious wounds. For everything else, we'll just keep using the herbal medicine. There's a transport pod crash. A gatherer named Jay is crashing in a transport pod nearby. If he survives the impact, he will be badly wounded. Jay is not affiliated with any faction, so I can rescue him and hope that he joins freely or capture him for recruitment or slavery purposes. All right, let's see if we're going to want to recruit this guy. Anyways, he's a 26-year-old male. Okay. I'm interested in his stats. He's too smart, so he can learn all these skills much more quickly. You can see uh, learning speed is 61% for skills that he doesn't have any passion for, which is significantly higher than the, the base 35%. For something that he does have passion for, learning speed is like 262%. That's pretty good. Careful shooter is also a good trait, especially paired with his passion and shooting. We can uh, train him up to be a decent shooter in no time. He has alright social skills. And 
It looks like he already follows our ideology. That's a pretty good deal. He's a good grower. He could help on the farm, for sure. He sucks at researching. He sucks at medical and crafting. So I think he'll really just be a farmer and a shooter. He could do some construction as well. We should definitely rescue this guy. So this bed, while it's not being used by the kid, we should turn into a medical bed. And we should send our most able-bodied colonist out, which I think is going to be Tronka at the moment. How's Tronka's medical skills? Not great, but I don't think anyone's medical skills are great. To go and rescue Jay. Where is Jay? Now, is Jay in risk of dying soon? Ooh. Jay's got a gunshot wound and addiction to alcohol and smoke leaves. Jay's gonna have to go through some withdrawals soon. Well, good to know. I don't think Jay's gonna make it if we try to bring him back to um, the colony first. So what we need to do is we need to make this a medical bed. And we need to have Tronka pick up some medicine on his way. Since this is a gunshot wound, I think we don't want to risk losing this guy to an infection. So we want to have Chanka go ahead and pick up maybe three of these medicines. Perfect. Now I need you to go run over and rescue Jay. We can temporarily set this as a not a medical bed so that Tronka will take him to the closest medical bed, which is currently right there. Minyaka, what are you doing? We wanted Tronka to do this. Oh, Minyaka is sleeping in the medical bed. Okay, this is not what was supposed to happen. Tronka, I need you to tend Jay right now. Perfect. What is going on? Oh, Jay is not set to industrial quality medicine. Tronka should already have all the medicine he needs. 38% 10 quality, that's good. Okay, now we need to remove the sleeping spot and we need to have Tronka rescue Jay and take Jay to this medical bed. Perfect. All right, things are going smoothly. Hopefully Jay will be very appreciative of our rescue and offer to join the colony. Who's got an infection? Xiao's gotten an infection. We need Xiao to stay alive so we can um, complete this quest. Xiao's doing a sad wander. We're not gonna be able to treat Xiao's infection if he's wandering outside and he's not in his bed. This is bad. I think this means Xiao's gonna die. We're gonna fail that quest. It's real unfortunate. Xiao, we need you to get in bed so we can treat you. Yep, it doesn't let us uh, treat his infection if he's not in bed. Okay, Xiao is definitely dying. Too bad. So sad. It's already the 7th of Jugast. I think we need to allow sowing. I think we probably want to get one more harvest out of this rice field so we have enough food stockpiled for winter. I mean, looking at this, it looks like a lot, but we'll go through it quickly. More quickly than we'd like. Tronka is wearing uh, tattered apparel as well. All right, let's go to Tronka's gear. What's Tronka tattered? Cloth tribal wear. 
cloth tribal wear. So we want to make two new cloth tribal wears. And we want to make a kid tribal wear. And J. Did J come with any clothing already? Gear. No, J is absolutely naked. So we'll want to make a third tribal wear for J as well. Quest available. Comrades Dusty Travelers. Let's see. Comrade and another desperate refugee are approaching. They say a great flash storm burned down their home. Comrade begs you for permission to stay at Aswar for 16 days so that they can rest and regroup. In return, they offer to work and fight for free during that time. If you make them happy, they may offer to join you. They may also reward you later for helping them, but there's no way to know their true in intentions. Alright, um, I don't think we can take on two people for 16 days. That's a long time, and we don't have the bedrooms or the food to support them. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to turn them away. Sorry, my friends. What are Minyaka and Tronka doing all the way out there? I hope there's not still a sleeping spot down here. Did they get rid of it yet? Sleeping spot. Yes, I need to deconstruct this sleeping spot out here. That's why they were all the way over there. Uh, Siao has collapsed. We need our best doctor on the case. And our best doctor is, of course, Minyaka. Okay, rescue Siao, but at this point, I don't think Siao is going to make it through this infection. The infection is already at... I mean, the immunity is only at 51.1%, and the infection is only at 59%. I say we try treating it. Okay, Minyaka, I need you to clean this bedroom. I need you to clean this bedroom. And then I need you to attend Xiao. There's a chance we can catch up here. 47%, that's not bad. But that wasn't what we wanted to tend. Does Tronka still have any good medicine on her? Yeah, Tronka does. So Minyaka, I need you to prioritize tending to Xiao, but I want you to use the medicine that Tronka just dropped. Okay. So we have about 10% to catch up, but we have a... Uh, what was our 10 quality? 8.6%? I don't think that's gonna cut it. It might. It might. Oh boy. If we make this, it's gonna be a close one. Tending expires in 7 hours. Can be tended in 4 hours. Okay, no. There you go, Xiao's dead. We wasted our good medicine on him too. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. Our relations with Pacta Born has decreased by five. It's not our fault he died. We tried our best to save him. All right, that's real unfortunate. Should we make a grave for him? He's not a raider. I think it would be the, the decent thing to do. Where are graves? Are they in furniture? No, they're in misc. Um, where do we want to put a graveyard? I think it might be nice to have some, uh, some graves near the river. Is that sanitary or unsanitary? I'm sure it is. I don't care. We're gonna have some nice graves near the river. For now, we're going to unallow his body until we build the grave. Minyaka, first thing you do when you wake up is going to be making this grave. We don't want to have this body start to decompose in here. That would be gross. Very gross. 
Vinyaka is fully healed. Fantastic. Still has blood loss minor. Tronka is almost fully healed. Fantastic. And Tronka will be walking with a spring in his step. Does Tronka have a, a trait that like means he needs less sleep or something? I've noticed that he gets up significantly earlier than Binyaka does on a almost daily basis. No, I don't see any traits for that. But Minyaka is a beast. Yeah, that 13 plant skills is um, fantastic. So, our new colonist, Jay, who we are hopefully going to be able to recruit. If Jay heals up and decides to leave and doesn't want to join our colony, we might kidnap Jay. Just saying. I don't think we can forego these skills. These are pretty good skills. This is a pretty good colonist. Plus the four social skills means that Jay can be in charge of uh, child rearing. I think it might be nice to have a chair in here for the, the kid's bedroom. This, this would be a nice place for the chair. And we need one more wooden floor here. It's bothering me that that is dirt. And we need a armchair in this room as well. And I think we'll go ahead and kind of mirror the other room. And I think we'll put it here. It's probably a nice place for a chair. Now, this is going to use up a lot of our alpaca wool. But it's a good thing we still have all these other alpacas still producing more wool. We're still a ways off from producing any parkas anyways. This is a poor armchair? I thought Minyaka was a good constructor. Construction level 5. Okay, maybe it's not good. That's just an alright constructor. Um, I think we need some, uh, some lighting in these rooms as well. So I'll go ahead and build a torch right here for lighting. And here we'll build a torch over there. Perfect. Okay, we have 472 hay. With one more harvest, hopefully that will be enough to get us through the winter. I'm praying. Um... Looks like one of our other yaks has grown up to adulthood. No, we still have only two adults, two juveniles, and one uh, baby. All of these babies are males, so we're going to slaughter them when they grow up because they're not producing us any milk, so what's the point of keeping them around? Um, we have a zero-year-old alpaca female that's due for slaughtering. How is our wool growth? 7%? Yeah, we're not canceling out much of our wool growth. All right. Nyaka is finishing up Jay's bedroom. Fantastic. Jay gets another poor armchair. Seems like Minyaka is just uh, constructing poor armchair after poor armchair. So let's go ahead and check on Jay's injuries. Looks like Jay has an uh, initial heat stroke. It is 88 degrees outside. Inside, it is 92. I don't know why it's so much hotter inside than outside. 84, 91, 90. Maybe the insulation is just pretty good in this room. Okay, we're gonna have to keep an eye on this heat stroke, but Jay should be healed up and ready to um, ready to decide what he's going to do sometime soon. Anyways, I think this is a good place to leave it. Um, we've actually made progress here today. I know our guest died and that is definitely not ideal, but what we do have on our side looking up, uh, looking forward to is Jay. 
Whether or not Jay decides to join us voluntarily is trivial. If Jay decides that he's going to try to leave the colony, we will kidnap him and put him in the prison cell. That's all there is to it. Um, we will get our third colonist eventually, one way or another. And then we have three colonists and a baby, and I think that's a pretty good good place to be at. Maybe four colonists and a baby would be a little bit better, just because uh, teaching the baby does take some, teaching the kid does take some time away from everyone else's schedule. But yeah, um, I'm sure once we have three colonies, three colonists, the ball will get rolling a little quicker and it'll be easier to pick up a fourth. Um, and we can finally start expanding the base, creating some like specific craftsmanship rooms. Maybe we can create a chapel. Maybe we can make this look more like a proper dining room. We can put the classroom into its own specialized building or something. We'll, we'll make the, we'll, we'll pretty up the base once we have a few more colonists. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.